Hello everyone, welcome to Iconics Fitness. My name is Tyler Rodriguez and this will be your 30 minutes of pure flow yoga. I'm joined today here with Eden uh, and also Caitlin as our students to demo. So why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna start today in child's pose. So please come to the back of your mats. We'll bring our big toes together. Go ahead and separate our knees as wide as comfortable for you. And we'll fold our torso in between our legs, arms outstretched with palms flat and a forehead on the mat. Uh, today, Caitlin will be taking the full variations of the postures and Eden will be here to provide modifications for the postures as well. So we'll take a moment just to kind of get situated and settled. Um, let's make sure our hands are about shoulder width apart. We'll start with a gentle bend in the elbows to start, kind of just relax the shoulders down away from the head and the neck. And with eyes closed, we'll begin our practice. We'll begin today with three cycles of breath. They'll be in through the nose and then very softly out the mouth. So let's begin together. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose, filling up all parts of the lungs, and a very soft, open mouth exhale as we sigh it out. And do that twice more. Let's take another deep breath in through the nose, filling up all the way into the lower belly, and a very soft, gentle, open mouth exhale. Very good. Let's do one more together. Let's take last deep breath in through the nose, filling up all parts of the lungs as much as we can with a slight pause at the top, and open mouth. Exhale, let it out. On your next inhale breath, let's move into tabletop position. We'll come onto all fours, bring our shoulders over our wrists and our knees underneath our hips. We'll start with some gentle spinal openers to warm up. We'll move with some cat and cow. On your next inhale breath, let's arch our spine for cow pose. We'll open up our chest as we lengthen our tailbone up to the sky. And as we exhale, we'll round into cat pose, pushing the mat away, hugging the chin really into the chest, pulling the belly button in and pointing the tailbone down. We'll take another deep breath in for cow as we arch our spine, beginning to rotate the elbows backward, beginning to slightly pull the mat towards you as you lengthen the tailbone up. And as you exhale, rounding into cat pose, really exaggerating the opening of the upper back as we press down firmly with both palms into the mat. Let's do one more together. Let's take a deep breath in for cow as we arch our spine, lengthening the tailbone up to the sky. Maybe you look up and as you exhale, rounding into cat pose, pushing the mat away, tucking the belly button in and point the tailbone down. Let's come back into neutral tabletop position. We'll curl the toes under now, and as you exhale, lifting the hips up for our first downward facing dog. As you take your first downward facing dog, we'll take a moment to just pedal out the knees a little bit, pedal out the feet, and maybe rocking a gentle side to side feels good. We wanna make sure that, that, sure that we protect our shoulders when we're in this position, and if at any time this doesn't feel good, you can come onto your forearms or also drop down onto the knees. So we just take our time getting warmed up, pedaling out the knees, pedaling out the feet, letting the head be really heavy. Maybe shaking out a little bit. And when you're ready, we'll find neutral downward facing dog. Let's take our right leg high to the sky as you inhale for three-legged dog, bending the knee a little bit, opening up the hip toward the right side. And as you keep that left heel driving down into the mat, we wanna spin the inner right thigh out and away from our body. Some of you may like to drop the left shoulder and open up the right chest to get a little bit more into the right side. Eden's gonna stay square with shoulders as she continues to push the mat away and lifting the hips up. Let's take one deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, bring your knee into your nose now. Shoulders will stay over the wrist. We're gonna curl and round out our back, forehead to knee. Inhale for three-legged dog. Right leg will come back high to the sky, bending the knee, opening up the hip. And your next exhale again, knee to nose, curling and rounding out the back. Shoulders forward slightly past the wrist. As you inhale, come back into three-legged dog. The right leg will extend up, squaring the hips. And as you exhale this time, bring your knee into your chest. Gently step your foot in between your hands. If it doesn't get there, we're just gonna scoot it forward and shifting the weight now into the right foot for forward fold. Step your left foot forward to meet your right at the top of the mat for Uttanasana. So our first standing forward fold will be here for just a moment. So go ahead and make sure that the knees stay bent so you can fold your torso on top of your legs to protect the lower back. Maybe a gentle rock side to side feels good. Some of you may like to grab opposite palms with opposite elbows. As we let the head be very heavy to decompress our spine, we'll begin to release the hips up to the sky as well. And your next exhale, gently release. As we inhale for halfway lift, flattening out the back, pressing your palms into the shins, consider a gentle bend in the knees to start so we can really pull the hip bones backward and open up the chest as we pull it forward. And as you exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, let it go. We'll come up halfway lift again as we inhale. This time we're gonna hold our halfway lift and bring our arms out wide to the sides. We're gonna keep a gentle bend into our knees to start. As we inhale, we're gonna look forward, hinge at the hips, come up all the way to standing at the top, bring your palms to touch overhead as we look up, reach up, and hands will come to heart center. 
Very good. As we inhale, reach both arms back up to the sky. And as you exhale, cactus the arms, opening up the chest, pushing the pelvis forward, inhaling, coming back to center, hands to heart, forward fold on your exhale breath. We're gonna flow through one vinyasa to start. Inhale for halfway lift. Palms will come into the shins, opening up the chest. As you exhale, plank position, planting the hands on the mat while stepping back. Now to keep our strength in our plank position, we wanna keep the elbows rotated backward. And with the balls of the feet on the mat, we're gonna drive our heels toward the back of the room. Keeping the legs strong, we're gonna inhale, shift forward onto big toes. Now this is where you can drop your knees or you can keep them lifted as we lower halfway down. Chaturanga Nandasana, keeping the elbows stacked over the wrists. As you inhale, upward facing dog, uncurl the toes, open up the chest as you straighten both arms. And as you exhale, downward facing dog, curling the toes under and pushing the mat up and away. We'll go ahead and reset our base now, so fingertips wide. Hands about shoulder width apart and feet about hip width apart as well. Let's go left side. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you bend, lift the left leg, bend the left knee, open up the hip to the left wall. And if maybe some of you might like to go through a couple knee rolls, a couple ankle rolls. And again, maybe dropping the right shoulder toward the ground and opening up the left chest. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. As we exhale, bring your knee into your nose, curling and rounding out the back, really pushing the mat away. Inhale for three-legged dog. Left leg up and back, bending the knee, opening up the hip. As you exhale, knee to nose, curl and round out the back. Very good, inhale, three-legged dog, square off the hips. As you exhale, look in between your hands, step your foot in between your hands. And again, we'll just take our time scooting it forward and step the right foot forward to meet the left at the top of the mat, Uttanasana. Halfway lift as we inhale, flattening out the back and forward fold, exhale. Capital T, your arms out to the sides, hinging at the hips, coming up all the way to standing, bringing the palms to touch overhead. At the top, let's cactus the arms again, backward bend, pushing the pelvis forward as you lengthen the tailbone down. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, hands to heart, forward fold, Uttanasana. We'll flow through one more vinyasa to get warmed up. Halfway lift on the inhale as you flatten out the back, shoulder blades will come together. And exhale, plank position. Placing the hands on the mat, stepping back, and again, option to drop the knees. Inhale, shifting forward, and as you exhale, lowering halfway down, we keep the elbow stacked into the side body. Upward facing dog on the inhale, or cobra, very good. And exhale, downward facing dog. As we lift the hips up again, we'll reset our base. Palms will stay about shoulder width apart. Inhale, lift both heels high to the sky, bend your knees, look forward, and carefully step, walk, or lightly float your feet to the front of the mat to meet your hands. Let's take a halfway lift as we inhale, flattening out the back, arms out to the sides, chair pose, bend the knees, drop the hips, and as the chest comes up, bring both arms up to the sky. Biceps will be by the ears, and shoulders relaxed. Now we wanna make sure we can see our big toes in between our knees, so go ahead and shift the weight back into the heels. If the knees are together, keep them slightly separated. And as you pull the lower rib, in, lower rib cage in, bring the shoulder blades together, and draw them down. We're gonna keep our upper body Really engage, especially through the uh, middle back and the torso. Bring your hands to heart center, reaching both arms out in front of you. Take your right arm back behind you for a chair pose twist. Now, since we're still getting warm up, you wanna check in with the knees and make sure that left knee doesn't pop out in front of the right, so keeping the knees square and the hips square as well. Option for a half bind, if you wanna take your right hand, you can bend it and bring it behind your lower back, or we can keep hands and arms just parallel to the ground. As Caitlin works her half bind, she's gonna really press into the outside of her hip so that the elbow begins to work backward, opening up her right chest. We'll hold for one more breath. Now as you exhale, gently release the bind, coming back to center, both arms out in front of you. We'll go left side now. Inhale, chair pose, twist on the left. And again, really making sure that the knees stay in one line, their weight is back into the heels, and the left shoulder will be relaxed. And again, option for half bind on the left side. So as Caitlin reaches behind her back, she's gonna really emphasize the strength in that left arm. At the same time, Eden's gonna stay in her chair, making sure the hips stay backward and knees slightly separated. On your next inhale, gently release the bind, both arms up to the sky for chair pose, and hands to heart, forward full. All right, guys, let's flow out. Halfway lift on our inhale, and plank position, hands to the mat, stepping back. Flowing through now, inhale, shifting forward, lowering halfway down on your exhale, inhale, Upward facing dog, uncurl the toes. Let's get kneecaps, thighs off the ground as you pull the mat towards you and exhale, downward facing dog. And again, we'll reset our feet, reset our palms. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg will come up high to the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. 
As you exhale for falling star, bring your shoulders over your wrists. Shifting the weight into the right hand, spin your left foot so it's flat. Your left hand's gonna come to heart center, and we're gonna extend our leg underneath our body and drive our right heel toward the wall behind us. We wanna make sure that that left foot stays sealed down flat to protect our knee. Eden's gonna keep her left hand at chest, or maybe we wanna reach our left arm to the ocean for a little bit more extension on the side. Either way, whichever variation we're taking, let's keep that right shoulder protected by rotating the right elbow backward and plugging the shoulder blade into the back. Let's hold for one more inhale. As you exhale, hands to the mat, three-legged dog, right leg will come up high to the sky, and low lunge. As you step your right foot in between your palms, dropping the back knee to the ground, uncurling the back toes, and chest will come up. As we lift our chest, inhale both arms up to the sky. So really opening up the inside of this left hip, we wanna keep the strength in our back foot. So pressing the top of the back foot down, and as you push the left hip bone forward, we'll pull the right hip backward. Being mindful not to let the lower rib cage flare out, so keeping it tucked in nice, and we'll inhale, arms up to the sky. Let's inhale, reach up a little bit higher, separating the fingertips, and cactus the arms, opening up our chest. Exalted to the warrior with our knee on the ground. The left arm's gonna come up and over. Our right hand will reach around and grab that back of the leg. Now maybe the leg isn't available, we can grab our hip or our glute, and maybe you wanna go a little bit further, you can work your eyes toward the back right corner of the mat, keeping the left hip bone strong and committed forward. Let's take one more breath in. As you exhale, come back to center, arms up to the sky, hands to the mat, half splits. We're gonna straighten the front leg and fold over the front thigh. Now if you have blocks, this is where the blocks can be helpful, underneath both palms or even just one. If you're gonna use one hand, I'd suggest the left, maybe even coming onto fingertips. As we open up the bottom or the back of the right leg, the hamstring, we wanna make sure that the toes stay pointed up. Be mindful not to round out the back too much, so pulling the chest forward, shoulder blades will come together, and really pulling that right hip bone backward as you drive forward with the right heel. Let's take another breath in, and crescent lunge, shifting forward. The right knee will come over the ankle, lifting the back heel off of the ground. The knee will come up, and our chest will come up as well. Now, taking a crescent lunge, if you wanna keep the knee down, that's totally fine. And again, we wanna keep our hips squaring toward the front. As we separate the fingertips a little bit wider, let's take a deep breath in. And exhale, hands to heart center, prayer twist right. We're gonna hover over that front leg, and the elbow will come to the outside of the knee. If it doesn't come to the outside of the knee, maybe just the top, that's all right. When we wanna work our twists a little bit more. So let's keep our back heel driving down. Commit the front of your pelvis toward the front heel. Now to get a little bit deeper into our twist, we're gonna inhale, raise the right elbow up toward the sky and forward. And as we exhale, we're gonna gently press the right palm down into the left. And as you inhale, we wanna pull the chest open. And as we exhale, really being mindful of protecting our back by contracting our abdomen and pulling the stomach in tight. Let's hold for one more inhale. Now straighten both arms toward the right side. Release your right arm up to the sky. Take a deep breath in, reach to the back wall and release the front arm warrior two. We'll spin it open and come back. So the back heel will be parallel to the back edge of the mat now with shoulders over hips. Check in with that right big toe really quickly. Make sure we can see it. So we wanna pull the right knee open and really pull the right hip bone backward. With their shoulders stacked over their hips, we'll keep the lower rib cage tucked in. Shoulder blades will be engaged and the eyes will be soft. All right, let's go hands to heart center, straighten both legs, inhale, reach up to the sky as we lengthen the side body. As you exhale, warrior two, eyes will come forward. Releasing the arms parallel to the mat, hold for one more inhale. And as you exhale, windmill your hands to the mat. Let's step the right leg back for a three-legged dog and we're gonna flow through our vinyasa. Now I like to sometimes keep my right foot lifted as we lower down. That's a little bit more of a challenge. If not, you can always drop that both knees to the ground. We'll inhale for upward facing dog and exhale for downward facing dog. All right, and again, just resetting. And we'll go left side, inhale, three-legged dog, left leg high to the sky, bending the knee, opening up the hip to the left wall, and as you exhale for falling star, bring your shoulders over your wrists. As you shift the weight into the left hand, the right foot will spin flat. We're gonna weave that left leg underneath our body, Check in with the left shoulder, make sure it's over the wrist, and rotating the bicep forward. You can keep your right hand at heart center, reach up to the sky, or reach all the way toward 
to the front of the room. And as we inhale, we're gonna drive the hips up. Let's keep both legs super strong to keep the kneecaps engaged. We'll inhale, find a little bit more room. And as you exhale, right hand down, three-legged dog, left leg high to the sky. As you exhale, knee to chest, step your foot in between the hands for low lunge. Dropping the back knee down again, uncurling the back toes. And as the chest comes up, the arms will come up as well. Now again, this hip might be a little bit different, so we want to make sure that the foot stays engaged by pressing down and working the right hip forward. If we pull the left knee open slightly and then pull the glute back, we can really get this scissor action of push and pull. They have their rib cage pulled in. Very good. Let's take one more breath in. And as you exhale, cactus the arms, open up the chest, and we'll take Exalted Warrior with the knee on the ground. So you're gonna reach the right arm up and over, and the left hand again will grab the back leg. In order to work our backward bend and our twist a little bit deeper, by committing the right hip bone to push forward, we can then begin to open up the left chest by working the left shoulder to the back left corner of the mat. And as you turn your right palm to face the wall behind you, we're gonna reach up through that side body. Let's take one more inhale and contract, coming back to center, arms up to the sky and hands to the mat, half splits. We'll straighten the front leg and fold over our thigh. And again, maybe it's a good time to grab our blocks just for a little bit more height. Let's make sure that right hip bone stays over the knee and we'll point the left toes up to the sky. Again, being mindful of this kneecap by keeping the quadricep engaged, pulling the hip bone back and driving the left heel forward. Let's find a little bit of a flatter back, so shoulder blades together. Take a deep breath in, and crescent lunge. Shifting forward back into that front foot, curling the back toes under, lifting the knee and arms up to the sky. We'll keep our shoulders over our hips again. Being mindful, making sure you can see this left big toe on the inside of the calf. And again, we're gonna have a little bit of a rotation with that right leg. So as much as you're pushing the right hip bone forward, see if you can rotate that right thigh forward and slightly down to the center of the mat and keep pulling the left hip bone backward. Let's take a deep breath in and prayer twist left. We're gonna, hands will pass through heart center. And as we hover over the front leg, we'll take our twist on this side. And again, we don't wanna crowd the left neck too much. So as you work the left shoulder down, we can still work the left elbow up to the sky. And with the fingertips spread wide, we'll begin to bring the shoulder blades together and opening up our chest. Keeping the strength in that back leg will help a lot. Let's check in with those toes on the left side, make sure we're not gripping, but keep them active. Now reaching both arms to the left, we'll inhale, raise the left arm up to the sky, reach to the wall behind you, and as you exhale, release the right arm, warrior two, and we'll open up. As we set up our base for Warrior Two, we wanna make sure that the front heel stays in line with the arch of the back foot, and again, checking in with this front big toe. Shoulders will stay over hips, shoulder blades will to come together. And as we focus our eyes right over the top fingertips, let's see if we can relax the face a little bit, relax the side of the neck, relax the forehead. All right, hands to heart center. Inhale, straighten both legs. Reach up to the sky as you lengthen this to the side body. And as you exhale, back into warrior two, windmilling the hands to the mat. And again, stepping back into our three-legged dog. The left leg will lift. Again, option to keep the foot lifted as we lower down for our Chaturanga Dandasana. And upward facing dog. Big toes together, heels apart. And exhale, downward facing dog. All right, adding on just a little bit more. Let's shake out the head, let it be really heavy. Keep the biceps rotating toward the face. All right, three-legged dog, right leg high to the sky, please. And as you exhale, step your foot in between the hands. We're gonna flow one breath per movement, and then we'll hold. Drop the back knee down for low lunge. Uncurl the toes, inhale, arms up to the sky. Cactus the arms, open up the chest. Exalted warrior for one breath. Inhale, left arm up and over. Exhale, back into your lunge, come back to center. Hands to the mat, half splits, straighten the front leg, fold over the thigh, maybe grab those blocks, and crescent lunge, shifting forward back into the front leg. Inhale, arms up to the sky. All right, hands to heart center, please. Prayer twist right, just like we did before. Elbow will come on the outside of the knee. Straighten both arms to the right. Inhale, right arm up, reach to the back, warrior two, and unwind. 
All right, hands to heart center. Inhale, straighten both legs, reach up to the sky. And as you exhale, come back to your crescent lunge. Everything will come back into center. Hands to heart, let's take warrior three with airplane wings. We'll hover over that front leg. And as we lynch our chest forward, arms will come alongside the body with our palms facing the ground. Now in warrior three, we might have a little bit of a bend into the knee to start, which is okay. We wanna maintain our pelvic stability by really working the left hip bone down and pointing the left toes down to the ground as well. What we find helpful in yoga practice is that we find our dristi gaze. That means they're gonna look at one point in space and focus their eyes on that point. That will help us with our balance. And now that brings us an opportunity to kind of focus more on our breath. Eden still has hands at heart center, so we're gonna really focus on pressing thumbs into chest so the collarbone will open. And as Caitlin reaches to the back wall with the fingertips, that will allow her chest to be pulled forward. Let's take one more inhale, please. And as you exhale, twisted one-legged mountain pose. Lifting the chest, the left knee will come into the torso. We'll take our right hand on the outside of our knee and the left hand back behind us. Now, option for half bind with that left hand, just like we did in our chair. Let's not let the left knee go higher than the hip bone. Keeping the right leg super engaged by strengthening the quadricep as if you were to jump off of the mat and then we exhale, pulling the stomach in, away from the leg and working up that left chest. If you have the bind gently release, left arm back behind you, inhale, arms up to the sky and one-legged chair. Stacking the left ankle on top of the knee, we're gonna take a seat. Now you can stand straight up and still work the knee back or your depth of the chair is your choice. Either way, we wanna make sure that this left knee stays protected. So if we point the toes to the left, that will help lock it up, and then we can work our knee down to the ground. Let's keep strength in this right leg. If you wanna go a little bit further, you can reach your arms out in front of you, take a little bit more of a deep sit, or just stay with hands at heart. Let's keep the shoulder blades together wherever we are and our eyes focused. Holding for one more inhale, hands to heart, and forward fold, exhale. Great job guys, let's flow it out. Halfway lift on our inhale, palms to shins, backs flat, hands to the mat, stepping back into plank. Inhale, shifting forward, lowering halfway down on your exhale, upward facing dog on your inhale, open chest, and exhale, downward facing dog. All right, again, just maybe rocking side to side, pull out the feet. Every time I go back to downward facing dog, it's kind of like a reset button. And then we'll move to our left side. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg up high to the sky. Keep driving the right heel down. As you exhale, knee to chest, low lunge. Flowing one breath per movement again. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Keeping strength in that back leg. Cactus the arms as you peel open the chest. Exalted warrior for one breath. Inhale, right arm up and over. As you exhale, coming back to center, hands to the mat, half splits. Straighten the front leg, fold over the front thigh. Very good, shifting forward now into crescent lunge, curling the back toes under. Inhale, chest up, arms up. Hands to heart center, prayer twist left. So as you keep the connection from elbow to knee and knee to elbow, reaching both arms out in front of you. Inhale, left arm up, reach to the back, undo the right arm, Warrior two and unwinds. Hands to heart center, inhale, straighten both legs, reach up to the sky and crescent lunge, stemming back into center. All right, preparing for our warrior three. Inhale, arms up to the sky, hands to heart center, option for C grip. We can interlace all 10 fingers behind our back and we'll pick up that back leg as we pull our chest forward. Now, sometimes each side is different, right? Sometimes it's a little easier, sometimes it's harder. Let's just find our point of space. Eden's gonna have her hands at heart center with the elbows close to the side body and collarbone wide. Kaylin has her fists interlaced, all 10 fingers, so that's C grip. She wants to go a little bit deeper. She'll raise the fists off of the lower back and each of them are peeling the chest open and really working the chest forward. Now, let's be mindful to protect our back by keeping the rib cage pulled in. Very good, we'll hold for two more. And as you gently release your C-grip, twisted one-legged mountain pose. Let's come all the way back up to center. Knee will come into the chest. And as we grab the outside of the knee, the right arm will reach back behind us. So we don't wanna sit into the left hip bone. So let's keep strength in that left leg so we can lift up out and the right toes will remain active. 
If you took a half bind on the other side, maybe take a half bind on this side. As we inhale, think about lifting our chest up. As we exhale, contracting and really using that twist to open up our back. If you have the bind, gently release. Inhale, arms back up to the sky and one-legged chair. Right ankle on top of the left knee and we'll take a seat. Now, as we work into our chair, again, let's keep that knee active or knee protected by pointing the toes to the right and chest open. Finding whatever point in space works for you. Maybe we reach both arms out in front of us again or we keep our hands at heart center. With the rib cage pulled in and emphasizing strength in the standing leg without gripping in the toes, let's find softness in the face and steadiness in the breath. And Hands to heart center, inhale, lift the chest, unhook, and forward fold, exhale. Very good, let's flow through one more vinyasa, and we'll begin our cool down. We'll halfway lift, and as you exhale, hands to the mat, plank position. Shifting forward, lowering down halfway, upward facing dog on our inhale, as we straighten both arms, biceps forward, and exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's cool it down. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose, and open mouth, exhale. Let's take half pigeon on the right side. The right leg will lift up to the sky. And as you exhale, gently place your right knee behind your right wrist, dropping the shin down, dropping the back knee down, uncurling our back toes. So now we're gonna take a minute just to get situated. If you have a block, you can use your blocks underneath both palms to keep the chest lifted. We're gonna be here for a little bit, so let's find our depth. If the right hip bone is dropping to the ground, that's when that block can be placed underneath you. If you want to go a little bit deeper, we can fold forward and maybe coming all the way down to the ground. So as we work our half pigeon pose, let's not crowd the neck and draw the shoulders slightly down. I like to close my eyes in this posture as we begin to tune in cool our body temperature, cool our nervous system, really focusing on the breath. So wherever you are, taking smooth, deep belly inhales and very soft, full exhales. On your next inhale, gently place your palms under your shoulders, lifting the chest up. We're gonna step back into a three-legged dog, so we'll curl the back toes under, lift the back knee, and then right leg will come up to the sky. Let's shake out that leg a little bit. All right, let's go left side now. Three-legged dog, left leg high to the sky and half pigeon. If you have that block, gently place it on the other side of your mat. And we drop the front shin down, being mindful to keep our hips and our pelvis square. So again, we don't wanna rock out to that left side. I like to take a minute just to get a little situated. If you want a little bit more depth in this outside hip, instead of moving this leg forward, go ahead and move this right leg backward and we'll have the back toes curled under. And again, maybe staying chest lifting, or if we're ready, we can fold all the way down. And to help support our neck, I like to stack two fists and just rest the forehead gently on the fists. And again, finding any softness or lightness in the neck, or the resetting contraction in the temples. All right, let's go palms under shoulders. We'll lift our chest up. I'm gonna curl those back toes under. Let's lift the left leg back for the last time and kind of just shake out that leg a little bit. All right, neutral downward facing dog, please. Let's take a deep breath in, lift the heels up super high and as you exhale, drop the knees down. Sit back on the heels. Let's rock to one side. We'll come to seated position. All right, let's take Paschimottanasana, so seated forward fold. We'll have both legs out in front of us, even sit bones, shake out the legs a little bit. And as we inhale, arms up to the sky, we're hinging at the hips. As we fold forward, we're gonna grab whatever we find. So maybe we have ankles, calves. If you have a towel or a strap at home, you can wrap them around your feet. And we're gonna focus really on a deep fold. And now that we are folded forward, Again, maybe the eyes will close. We'll focus on deep inhales 
and soft exhales. So as we inhale, I like to imagine kind of like a wave. We'll inhale, the chest will lift slightly. And as we exhale, we'll gently pull and let the chest fall down. Inhale, gentle lift of the chest. And very exhale, drop it down. All right, guys, let's gently release the grip, walk the hands up the legs. We'll go ahead and scoot forward to the front of our mat. We'll have knees bent, feet flat, arms out in front of us, and very slowly as you tuck your chin into your chest, make your way all the way down onto your back. Taking your time, moving very slow. And now that we're all the way on our back, let's gently pull our knees into our chest. Maybe a gentle rock from side to side feels good. And we'll take supine twist. Arms out wide to the side. Let the knees gently fall to the left. And we'll begin to scoot the hips to the right. Sometimes we like to put a block in between the legs or the knees just to kind of help keep the hips square. We don't want to force this twist at all. So we want it to be very gentle, very passive. As you bring the chin over to the right shoulder, allow that left side neck to just kind of relax and fall down. We'll be here for just a few breaths. Very gently coming back to center. And we'll go supine twist to the right. So the knees will move to the right now. We'll scoot the hips to the left again so that we can stack our hips. And again, maybe using that block just for a little bit more support in between the knees and the legs. So either arms out really wide to the side or cactus them, whichever feels best. And again, not forcing the twist. Very gently coming back into center. If you have the block, go ahead and gently remove that. We'll pull our knees into our chest one last time. As we bring our forehead up to meet the knees, let's take a deep breath in through the nose, very last one. And a big open mouth, exhale, side out. Very good, yogis. Final resting pose, please take Shavasana. So for Shavasana, final resting pose, we'll extend our legs out in front of us, feet spread wide, arms wide, and again with eyes closed. Relaxing the shoulders down. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us today. Until next time, namaste.